Have you seen the Emmy nominations? Now let me take a peek. All right, all nominees for Outstanding Comedy Series, Abbott, Curb Your, Enth Curb Your Enthusiasm. This still goes on? Hacks, Only Murders in the Building, Palm Royale, Res Reservation Dogs, The Bear, and What We Do in Shadows. Seen none of those. Can't see. I keep forgetting that since I changed the windows, you can't see when I changed the window. Next, lead actor in a comedy. That doesn't help me. I haven't seen any of the comedies that were listed. Oh, except for a couple episodes of The Bear. So I guess by default I'd have to give it to The Bear. A lot of comedy nominations here. Wow, I, man. Okay, dramas. Three Body Problem, Fallout. Seen that one. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, haven't seen that. Shogun, seen that. Slow Horses, Crown, Gilded, and Morning Show. Seen none of those. So I've seen two of these. And I feel like one of these will probably win. I imagine it's going to be Shogun. For Outstanding Drama. Ooh. Walton Goggins was really good. He's not like the lead, though. Yeah, he is. Not really. Uh, what's her name? Emily Purnell, I think. Pretty sure that's her name. She's definitely the lead. Oh, wait. There's a, there's a category for lead actress as well. Never mind. We're fine then. That makes complete sense. Do they always do that? I thought they only had like one for lead. And it was men and women that got nominated. Am I just super way off the mark or is that like the Oscars? No, it just has always been like that. No, okay. So for lead actor, I'd probably give it to, uh, I'd probably give it to Goggins. I really liked his performance. Wow. Emily Purnell did not get lead actress nomination for Fallout. Interesting. So that means I'm definitely going over here to Anna Sawai. <laughs> for me, it's only Fallout and Shogun. I know none of the others. There's three different people from the morning show here. Oh, four. Four nominations here for the morning show. Seen none of these. Television movies. Seen none of these. I got nothing to really vote for here. Game show host. Fucking give it to Steve Harvey. Structured reality program. All I know here is Shark Tank and Love is Blind. Oh, wait! Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Guy Fieri? Wait a minute. Who picks these? I don't know. I bet this category's been the exact same every single year since fucking 2001. Probably even earlier than that. Probably since the 90s. It's probably always been these five nominated. Fucking Family Feud, Jeopardy, Password, Price is Right, and Wheel of Fortune. Eric Andre show, I see you got a, no a nomination. There's only three nominations for this category. So probably Eric Andre takes that. Oh. Outstanding talk series, Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> Why is Jimmy Kimmel even nominated? Should have just left it at like three. Don't even bother. Yeah, it's a certified Skibbity Biden moment for sure. Ugh. Underwhelming. Have you added any new bad dance moves to your arsenal? Not recently. I, I haven't been theory crafting as much, but I did get inspired. I saw Jojo Siwa, probably the god emperor of dog shit dances, released a new fire one. Here, check this out. So this has kind of got me somewhat inspired to get back out there and cook. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's lagging, it's lagging. I gotta switch. Her dance moves are too much for my frames. There. I have to keep it muted because she's playing her new song there. But she's doing it in like a damn Dave and Buster's here. Fucking Dave and Buster move. So that move's great. Like that, like, getting low, like, real cryptid shit. I think that's super strong. And that's, like, that's actually Hatman. 
Like, that is the fucking hat man right there. She's just able to true combo some of the worst dance moves the human body is capable of producing, and I am jealous. Because I like to think I'm pretty good at it, but she blows me out of the water. You should invite her to a dance-off. <laughs> that would be so awful. I feel like she, I feel like that wouldn't go down as fun as it sounds conceptually. Sadly, you don't hold a candle to her insane moves. I know. This is, well, the, there's a series of moves I've been finding myself really gravitating towards recently, and it's like really stiff moves. So I've been doing a lot of like real stiff stuff. So like this one. You know, like the praise the sun type shit. But her moves are somehow both stiff and really limber. Bro did the Aztec. <laughs> yeah. If you want stiff, check out the freestyle dance teacher. Oh, I don't even have to go far to see that. I saw that in the comment section down here. Oh, also, Pennywise dancing is good. This one's like the hoedown showdown. I do that one from time to time. But I guess it's now been kind of taken over by Pennywise. But yeah, the freestyle dance teacher is a classic. Clothing makes a difference. I guess, but the moves themselves are just... Like, I feel like she has a team that does exactly what I do when it comes to brainstorming shitty dances. Like, I feel like she's not actually the one out there on the grind theory crafting. I feel like she just has an entire unit behind her doing it. So, like, I'm up against five or six different choreographers all trying to find the worst shit. What other moves have I been working on recently? I had some cool ones not long ago. I can't remember which ones I've already shown and which ones I haven't. You should do an online dancing class. Like, teach one or take one? I'd love to start teaching dance classes and just start a whole new wave of <laughs> awful body movements. But Jojo C was already way ahead of me. Dude, I got this cute girl's number the other day. She texted me and everything. But now today, I keep texting her and no response. Should I go check on her? I can't tell if that's a meme or not, but on the slim chance that it's not... Absolutely fucking not. No. Also, you say you keep texting her and you're getting no response? I think that's a problem. You keep texting her. You have to give her a chance to respond without, like, inundating her with messages. I, I understand you got excited, but you, you, gotta, you gotta pump the brakes a little bit. You don't want to come on too strong. No response is your response. Yeah, and sometimes that's just the way she be. Can't be mad about it. It is what it is.